about sororities. She is in a sorority. I'm not, but I still like you rushed went through on. Recruitment. I, yeah, and so it right. just didn't work out for me. But I'm here to tell you, like, just like the our experience, experience and yeah. how each round and everything went for us. And like, we can give you like outfit ideas and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, we'll post our pictures in the video. So let's, we're gonna talk about outfits now. Okay, so outfits first. So. My first day for outfits was info night. I think you want you want to look cute still, obviously, mm-hmm. but like you don't want to be like too over the top. So what I wore, I just wore like a f- blouse, like a flowy long sleeve blouse from Express, and I just wore jeans. Don't wear like holes in your jeans like the first time you're going to the yeah. info night. I think right. Yeah, I mean I wouldn't wear don't wear holes at all. Yeah, because um, you want to look professional or like you want to look cute. You want to look good. You don't. They don't want to see holes in your pants right it's now. It's more like interviewing, like what you, not what you, what you would wear to an interview, but think of like what you wouldn't wear to an interview. Like you wouldn't wear like tank tops and like holes in your right. clothing and stuff. So wait, yeah, I wore the blouse with the jeans and then I just wore like a really small like heel. It wasn't like, it was booties. It was like really small booties. It wasn't like super like high heels or anything. And then I just like kept my hair straight and yeah. did light makeup. I didn't look like crazy. I just wanted them to think I still looked cute, but mm-hmm. I wasn't trying too hard. Yeah, I think for Info Night for me, I think I wore leggings and like a, like a flowy shirt, like a t-shirt, and then sandals, because um, they don't really tell you what to wear. Yeah. Stage one, you kind of just can wear whatever you want, so I just put on leggings and a t-shirt. Yeah. You just want to look still, like, cute. cute yeah. but, um, stage one, they'll definitely like give you like what to wear and you can ask yeah. questions and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, if you don't think your outfit is, like, good or if you don't know, like, you can ask, like, uh, what your, is it, your grandma. grandma if, like, your outfit looks, like, good and they'll let you know, like, oh, you should probably wear this instead of this, like, mm-hmm. You can, like, like text that. her and be like, is this okay? And she'll be like, yeah or no, and yeah. then whatever, you go from there. Stage one is just, like, getting to know people, um, just, like, your first conversation with really any of the sororities. Um, this is where, like, the most casual day of all of them, I think I wore, like, a lace tank top, jeans, and heels, like, yeah. small heels, not, like, stilettos or anything You like are that. walking a lot, too, like, mm-hmm. a lot, a lot of the time, so you don't, you still want to wear cute shoes, but, like, comfortable, and, you like, want it you're to not going to be dying. Yeah. Um, I definitely didn't do that. Did you um, wear super high heels? At the last stage, like, for prep, um, I wore really high heels, and there's a lot of walking outside to all the houses, and there's a lot of hills at West End, yeah. so <laughs> that was painful, but it's fine. Yeah. Stage two, this is, if so, I remember it, I'll say stage it. one, um, we were in, like, a, you're in, like, a building, <laughs> and there's, like, you're just going to all these different rooms, like, you're just inside. Um, stage two, for me, was um, at the houses, so you went and you talked for about 30 minutes, to each of the houses, um, you drop, we dropped one after stage one, and then stage two, so there's seven sororities at Western, and so we went to six, or whoever asked you that kind of, um, rank your top, I guess, and then you just, you drop the one that you didn't want, or you felt like you had no connection with, really, and then the next day you go back to the ones that you got asked back to, and the ones that you wanted to go to. Two, I wore a skirt, and a t-shirt in, I think, sandals this time. But I had to dress like I was going to, like, a business type thing, and I had to wear, like, a, I wore, like, a pencil skirt with, like, a, like, a express, like, tank top thing, and then I wore, like, Mm -hmm. a cardigan. I don't know what night that is. All of my outfits I wore were all from Express, so if you want cute outfits, go to Express, Mm -hmm. and you can get really cute stuff there. Or just go on, like, Pinterest or something and look up. Um, I know Western has, like, a Pinterest page for what you should wear, um, and you can just, like, look up, like, really any, like, cute, like, story recruitment outfits, and then, right, give you some good ideas. That's what I did for most of them. Stage one was two days. So the first day I wore jeans, sandals, and that lace tank top. The second day of stage one, um, was skirt, a t-shirt, and sandals again. Stage two when we went to the houses then I wore the romper and heels. We'll just post all of our pictures from each yeah. day that we wore. I feel like we sound stupid um, talking about just, our outfits because we're like what do we wear? Progressively it just gets <laughs> dressier every day. 
So that's all you really need to know. Yeah, the um, last day for me was like I wore a dress and yeah, you wear a dress and heels and it's like super fancy and everything and that's like prep and you'll go mm-hmm. there for and each day progressively gets longer for the amount of time that you're with each sorority. So like at the first you were like thirty minutes and then thirty minutes and then forty five and then or thirty and forty five and then into like a whole hour yeah. for prep. Um, and prep is like the most important day. That's when you learn like the most about the sorority really like really like inclusive and stuff and you get to know like everyone on a really personal level I guess yeah um like for me like I feel like she had a better experience just because my school's smaller and we only have like literally like four sororities so like Mm -hmm. I felt like I honestly didn't fit in with any of them because like I mean obviously every sorority every girl's like they all have different personalities Mm -hmm. and like I just felt like the ones at my school like just did not align with who I was so when you're going through it you have just like if you're not feeling, like, any of them, like, don't force yourself to go into one, because right. you're, you're gonna be with them all the time, and you're gonna do, like, all this work with them, you're gonna, you might live with them, like, in your house and stuff, too, like, mm-hmm. you're gonna want to make sure, like, you feel comfortable with them, so, like, that's what you have to think, like, the whole time you're going through it, like, if you instantly don't feel connection with, like, some girls there, then don't write them down to go back there the next day, like, just, mm-hmm. like, instantly get rid of them, because then they're just gonna keep asking you to come back, and then yeah. you're gonna go, and then you're not gonna enjoy yourself there, and then they, you, they might have, they might pick you, and that might not be what you want, you know? Yeah, you don't want to like, fake, like being nice to everybody. Like obviously, be nice and be respectful to everybody, but um, don't fake yourself into somebody that you're not, and you yeah. know, like you're not gonna fit in there. It just because then at the end, it's just not gonna be what you want out of it. Right. Um, but I definitely think that like. Obviously, the first couple of days, you don't really know. Like, you could have, like, a horrible conversation with one person. Like, you could just not connect at all. And then the next day, you could have an amazing conversation with someone else. So you really just have to, like, stay true to yourself because everyone's going to be different. And there's so many pe- different p- people in sororities. And there's so many different people in just one sorority. So don't just, like, you know, like, don't, like, just give up after the first day just because you had a bad conversation with one person because then the next day you could have, like, a really good conversation right. with someone else. And you talk to multiple people in one day, so it's not just going to be, like, one person every single day. And I feel like you really, like, you really know once you're there, like, once you're actually talking to the girls, you, like, instantly know, like, if you're like, eh, these aren't the girls I want to, like, spend all my time with. Mm-hmm. Or, like, like, you want to be, you want to feel excited about it, you don't want to be like, if you're feeling like, oh, I just want to get out of here and go to the next place, mm-hmm. then obviously, like, you don't like it there. Right. So, like, keep that in mind. Like it's mm-hmm. Yeah, and definitely when you're waiting, like, did you go to the houses? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so when you're waiting, like, outside of the houses, like, try to, like, make conversation with people that are in lines, too. I know that's, like, really uncomfortable, like, for me, like, I hated doing that, but those could potentially be people that, like, you're gonna be in a sorority right. with, so that you can make friends while you're in line and stuff. I know some people are, like, some people aren't the nicest and whatever, but just, like, putting yourself out there and, like, make a lot of friends. Because I know a girl in my sorority I met on Info Night, and she had, like, an issue with her makeup or something, and some other girl from the sorority that we're in now was helping her. Aww. And so it was really cute and stuff, and, like, we were, like, basically together all week, and we ended up going to the same house, so it was really cool. So there's going to be a ton of questions that people are going to ask. Um when you're there, like, what your major is and stuff, and those are, like, the basic questions that you should probably know. Um, (laughs) if you don't know your major, that's fine, but, um, yeah, for the most part, they're gonna ask you, like, what do you do? Like, what do you do for fun? Um, a lot of conversations that were good that started off for me was talking about makeup and about YouTube and stuff. And Instantly talk about your interests, like, what you like, because you have to know instantly if you are connecting to them. Like I said, like, if you want to be able to fit in, talk about everything that you like, because if they like the same things, then obviously that's a good sign that you're in the right place, Mm -hmm. because you're with the right girls. So make sure you say, like, your hobbies and interests, like, right Mm -hmm. away. Yeah, you definitely want to, like, talk about something you're passionate about, because then you can talk longer about it. Yeah. um, Instead of just sitting there, because people can tell if you're, like, interested or you're not in what you're talking about, and, And if someone's, like, if they ask you what your major is, make sure you ask them what theirs is, just so Mm -hmm. you can keep, like keep talking you yeah know? Like, think about questions that you want to ask them like what's their favorite part of being in a sorority mm-hmm. like why they chose being in the sorority like what like really drew them to want to be I there asked, i remember i asked somebody i was like i was like you know how you feel like a certain way when you go to a like 
when you visit each sorority, you feel a certain way at each one. Like, how did you feel connected to this one? Like, how did you know that you wanted to be in this one? Like, what made you feel like this was going to be, like, your home, you know? I just have to, like, be completely honest. What advice would you give people who don't, like, like the one that they're visiting? If they want the people to know that, like, they don't want to be in it, what do you, what would you say? Um, I don't know what I, I would think say. just being honest. I, yeah, I just think it's, like, just being honest but not trying to be, like, too rude about it because I know, like, but people do understand, like, during prep and stuff, and you're just like, yeah, I just really am interested in this other sorority. You don't have to say which one. You just say, like, I'm really interested in the other sorority. Yeah. Um, I really feel like I belong there, and, like, it just, like, was an instant connection for me. And they'll understand that because yeah. they know that's probably how they felt when they joined their sorority. Right. Like, I wouldn't, because mm -hmm. I didn't know what to say. I wasn't going to be like, I hate it here. Yeah. Like, get me out of here. Because I feel like that's mean. Like, I feel like I'm insulting people, like, mm -hmm. who love their yeah. sorority. It's like... You can love it, but I just don't. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. How to, like, prepare. I guess I just, like... Make sure you get your outfits before. Like, okay, if, wherever you're going to school, try to look up their page or something or whatever mm -hmm. and, like, see, like, what their nights are and see if they give you... Because my school gave me, like, examples of stuff you could wear. Yeah. Or, like, look at Pinterest, too. Like, look Pinterest at, like, the outfits. so much. Your school's information... Um, go on Pinterest, look up outfit ideas, look up some questions that they might yeah. ask and some questions that you might want to ask if you can't think of any, um, because you do want to keep it. And it's really about conversation and keeping it going and not sitting there in silence the whole time. I know that's kind Try of... Try not to be fake, honestly. Yeah, just true. Because a lot of girls do that, and it's like, you really can't, because you really do want to, if you're, like, if you want to do this, you have to make sure you're being yourself mm -hmm. and you're finding, like, the right group of people for yourself. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this helped anybody um, who was going through recruitment. And I mean, obviously you can see that like sometimes it doesn't work out for anybody and that's fine and it's totally okay. And then you're depends not on dying your, over yeah. it. <laughs> I don't give a crap, really. Yeah, and, and it just depends on what school you're going right. to. Like I didn't, so. I just didn't have like you didn't have like that option, I wanted. You know? I like honestly, like a lot of people have like a lot more places to pick from, and I just didn't have ones that I fit in. Like you had what, four, like four, yeah. yeah. It's really hard to fit a bunch of different people into four little boxes. Exactly, exactly. Like so. it's a school. Like how can there be four and all the girls? Like yeah. uh, so obviously, I just didn't find my group of people, but that's okay. I'm Some, sure if I was at another school, I probably would have found my group of people. Mm -hmm. So it just depends. Like, and if you're not yeah. feeling it, then it, you're probably like me. You just didn't find your people and that's okay like yeah. you don't don't go into one where you're not gonna be happy yeah but definitely go through it if you are thinking about going through it because I know I went through it we both went through it our sophomore years yeah um, instead of freshman year and I I don't know how it would have been freshman year but I think that it, I wouldn't as I don't know if I love it as much as I do now and yeah. I do have like the most amazing friends in my sorority and they're great and they're texting me right now <laughs> <laughs> they keep popping up um but yeah, definitely go through it. Maybe it doesn't work out for you, but at least you experience it and you'll find your friends. And if not, that's totally fine. But at least like going through it, I think it was fun. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it can be stressful, but I think at the end, if you do end up where you want to be, then it's worth it. Yeah, definitely. Okay. We'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye.